25-17 but a performance uh, pwede mo nang sabihin uh, come from behind advantage or, or win para sa bank for the spikers dahil they are down two sets to nothing and the way they won the third set coach Sonny really nagkiba yung tono ng, ng match natin well they started out like a house on fire and I think that was the telling blow dahil nagkaroon man sila ng uh, meltdown Doon sa midpoint ng uh, third set, sobrang laki ng puhunan, siya pang kalamangan eh. So the, the important thing for them right now in this upcoming fourth set is to have another good start. Kasi sila yung nagahabol in the first two sets. Sabi nga natin kanina, first time sila nakatrangko and uh, it paid dividends for them in the long run. Dahil maski matinde yung habol ng uh, Lady Troopers, kinain yung lima sa shop na kalamangan nila, naman ka pa rin ng apat. And eventually, when uh, and the troopers the made a slight them. mistake, lima ulit eh. And uh, that's decisive. That's hard to erase. And the lady troopers hurt by eight of those uh, 25 points na binigay sa Perla Spikers coming off unforced errors. Well, let's see uh, if Pacific Town uh, is able to regroup in between sets. So, they nagbabalik si Tubino at si uh, Jing Balse. And Tubino rare, very, barely saw action in the third set. Coach Sonny, uh, ginabas na siya very early in the third set. Para makapahinga dahil winded na rin talaga eh. Siya yung pumapalo ng paulit-ulit at siya rin yung inaatake defensively uh -oh. ng Perla Spikers. Gutierrez blocked twice in a row. Third try is outside. And the some first points first for Jen Gutierrez with her control right now. Set. Sabi ni Coach Kung Fu, mabagal ang swing. Kaya pag contact, eh, mahaba parate yung hatin. One point lead to start the fourth Rothes. for the Perla Spikers. Oh, over the seat. Over received. Good effort para kay Gutierrez. May tawid yung bola. Doromal. And oh, nice. Gutierrez that time with a tip. Gutierrez, Finally, a uh, One -on. change in the contact para kay Gutierrez looking for that soft hit instead. Turned out to be a drop shot for her Alina over Catbersola. The scorers, Gutierrez overtaking Tubino dahil sabi mo nga, eh, konti lang yung ilaro. Tubino dun sa third set na nakalipas. Balang again with a good dig. Hervasho against two blockers. Picar, yeah, had it Gutierrez again. Gutierrez is blocked. Gutierrez denied. And again, not just see Kat Bersola, and she's been doing an excellent job along with Doromal at the net. There's Gonzaga, there's Tobino in the back row. And there has to be more variety para dito sa playmakers ng uh, Lady Troopers. Dahil pantayado na si Jem Gutierrez talaga. And she looks to be a little tired also at this point of the match. Mabasa na ng uh, depensa sa net. There's, That's in. Going to zone 5, right. Gonzaga going cross court, cool. connecting. This is a broken play. Underhand set by kay Gonzaga. And she goes over the blockers. Kulang pumalo. Eh, no? Front spin yung bola. Eh. Kaya ako mangat dun sa double block. Double block. Tapos biglang bumaba. bumaba. Poor first ball. Set up para kay Tiamzon. What a cross-court cross attack court against field. the block of Pabayo. Serving two. Hindi bola ni Tobino yun. Okay, no, nag, okay Agno dapat yun. Kita mo yung Agno lang kinuha. Oh, oh nakabang na si Agno. For Banco. One point lead para sa Perla Spikers. Tobino, smart. Smart play. Tobino gets a ball Inawi punch. Inawi ni Tobino, redeeming Number herself. Zola. Tying the count of three once again. Third deadlock. After the first six points of this fourth set, let's go back to Janine Choi. Eric and Coach Ronnie, during the off-season, ay umuwi sa kanila sa Zamboanga si E.C. Honey Tobino. Isang linggo siyang andon at masaya siya na nakasama ni ulit ang pamilya niya at talagang nakapagpahinga siya. And meron pa pala ang huling buwan ang huli siyang umuwi sa kanila kaya going to home was really very precious and very memorable to her. Although habang nasa probinsya siya, ay hindi niya hinayaan ang sarili niya na mag, hindi mag-training. Sinigurado ni Honey na may light training siya araw-araw. Jogging o push-ups para hindi daw siya mahirapan pagbalik sa training. 
Moving on this step number four, sinabi ni Honey na ipopush niya ang sarili niya para ma-motivate ang kanyang kupuna na tapusin na ang laban na ito. Balik sa inyo, Eric at Coach Ron. Maraming salamat, Janine. Kami tayong kapamilya dyan sa Sambuanga na big followers ng PVL, of course. Ang salita kasi dyan ay Chabacano. Chabacano. Mix of Spanish and Coach Ron. Good uh, dig para kay Ganda ng reaction time ni Hervasio. Oh. Ooh. That seemed to be going outside pero sinalo pa rin ni Hervasio. Here's Chemzon of speed. Nangat ni Gutierrez. Malaluan. And Malaluan will Ganda. score. Malaluan has been a good fourth set contributor. At yung sinasabi nating better ball distribution. Oh. Some mm. more variety. Dahil kawawa rin naman si Chem Gutierrez. They're bound to make mistakes dahil... Uh, sa sampung uh, set. Oh. Walo. O siya doon sa sampu sa kanya lahat. It's true. Eh, yung, yung walo doon, mga five in a row, sunod-sunod yung papalo doon. Oh, kasi naibabalik eh. Gonzaga becoming more active sa opensa. But there's a net violation net against touch, Malaluan. Malaluan. Four, Most cool four and happy with that last sequence. They were looking for a 4.8 instead. Motion is down to two. Ang problema yung depensa ng uh, Lady Troopers pag nakabuli nila yung bola, no? Mas quicker talaga uh, itong uh, team ng uh, yung mga bata, oo. The Persona sa trouble controlling her service. Although at times, very potent, very lethal yung delivery niya from the service line. Yan ang kaiba pag lamang ka at ikaw ang nagahabol. Mas may kumpiyansa ka, syempre, yes. pag nasa ibabaw ka, eh. May margin for error, eh. Oo. There's a service ace by Gonzaga, taking us to our first technical timeout. Same score count It's a third set, but this time, the advantage is on the flip side, pabor para sa Lady Troopers. 8-4. And napapasayaw, pati yung mga players and my floor director, Larry Denton, tuwa sa mga Britney songs. Britney track si DJ Jams, ha? Saka kaboses nila. Technical timeout. Well, right now, in control ang uh, Lady Troopers in set number four after uh, really so struggling in the Gonzaga. third set. Gonzaga is coming off a service ace. Another good serve here. Cross court, nakaabang si Agno. Di sa palo ni Tiamzon. Tubino uh, looks much fresher now. Right, right. Man, kita mo eh, no? Oo. Oh. Oh, oh, and yun na, siya eh. Doon sa manalo nila sa second Nine. set, sa iba yung pawis yan. And that's his uh, tactical uh, maneuver ni Coach Kung Fu kanina. Kasi lumalaban naman sila, pero alam niya na mahirap yung overhaul, yung ganong klaseng uh, kalamangan na ibinigay nila. So, two steps backward, rather one step backward, two steps forward. Now they're up by five. Better reception. Process. And may kita mo ngayon, Coach Ronnie, ano, set number four, mas aktibo. At mabilis yung galaw ng paa nitong mga Lady Troopers. Ito, yeah. They're quicker to the ball. Nakaabang agad sila. Yung third set kasi parang napako sila lahat eh. Tubino. Yes, back-to-back -back points. Oh, Ayan, Ayan, Rick, Tubino. hindi napako. Pinako. <laughs> Pinako yung kalaban sa four points. Right now, uh, Jen Gutierrez is not the first point of attack. Oh. But she's playing hard on the defensive end. Continuous. Number eight. She's continued to help out. Itong si uh, Alina Picar execute those uh, very effective sets. Ay, hindi pa na to serve. Ayang si uh, Gonzaga. Gonzaga with a pancake save. What an effort. Joust nanalo, of course. Yung mas malaking si Malaluan contra kay Jem Ferrer. And again, at the right place at the right time, defensive players ng Pacific Town. Wow. RB Lady Troopers going down the line but will not connect. Five. But what serve about uh, the Bionic Ilonga? Oh. Diving, sliding, keeping the ball in play. At sinasabi nga ni Coach Kung Fu kanina, the top of the coverage. 70 to 75 percent pa lamang. Oh, si Gonzaga, no? Coming off an ACL injury. Uh, there's a certain ace pa ng AD Gold Team Zone. Pero malaki-laki ang kalamangan dito ng uh, Lady Troopers. So they can uh, afford ikang uh, a few mistakes. Service. Kanina, anim yan, Rick. Oo. Oh. Tubino. Tubino is feeling it. 
Saka may eh, konting pitik yung palo. Pantihin pan eh, no? na to Rick eh. Uh, Hervaccio though. That's gonna be two straight points. To make that three straight points para sa Perla Spikers. So yung six point lead na kalahati na ng uh, mga naka white and red. And uh, two members of the Fab Five getting the job done. Oh, a service ace again! Eight to ten. So four straight points for the Perla Spikers. The kalabangan ng uh, 80 Troopers. Dalawa na lang. Mapapatay mga si Coach Kung Foreyes will listen in. Kanina pa kayo tinatarget doon. Ayaw natin mag-adjust. Pumito na yung referee. Kaya yun, pabalik pa lang. Naka-serve na, hindi pa kayo ngayon naka-ready. Hindi ba kayo tingin ang tingin dito? Kasi kayo mismo, pwede kayo mag-adjust. Anong adjustment natin? Dali lang sa serve. Namamagay sa atin na bola. Pinotono lang, ika nga ni Coach Kung Foreyes, yun nga, mga maliliit na miscues na pinapaalala niya. Pero yung maliliit na yan, nanganganak yan, yun nga lang, masakit talaga doon. Lalo pag sunod-sunod, at ang masakit sa reception na naman. Saan natin, yung depensa nila, ang una nalang naging problema, dun sa third set na debacker. Pero sa ngayon, third set, dun siya na nayari talaga ko, yung reception errors na yun eh, nagsunod-sunod yun. Good effort by Ferrer. Here's Servacio. Wow. From the save of Jeff Ferrer to the attack of Servacio. Got that on deep work in the Perla Spikers. Ang lakas din pumalo ni Servacio talaga. What about the save coming from the former Libero? Ella De Jesus. That's a five-point run para sa Perla Spikers. Tubino, single blocker. There's a net violation for Hervasio. But he's still in the game, Tobino. He's still in the game. So far, we haven't seen Gonzalez in this set so far. It has all been Alina Bicar. Here in the fourth set for Pacific Town. The five-point run of Perla Spikers is the win of Tobino. Tobino is serving. There's a tip by Rosses. And it's back to a one-point game. Magno was frozen. And so Rosas will make them pay. Smart is over the double block. Dem Ferrer, survey for the Perla Spikers. Picar, Inangat, Gutierrez, yes. Gutierrez off the block. Another connection with Jem Gutierrez for the first time. After the first four points. So Jem Gutierrez might uh, be able to readjust yung kanyang uh, fuel sa kanyang lakas. Tsaka dahil si Tubino ang kumuha ng uh, majority ng mga palo in the first part of set number four. Eh, para nakapagpahinga din si Gutierrez. Fair free ball para dito sa Banco Perlas. Here's Gutierrez once again. Right. And you're on cue. You're on point kasamang Eric. And that's the importance of uh, ball distribution and variety of sets. And the way you distribute to your uh, multiple Seven. points of attack. Well, and diver nila pwedeng puntahan. Oh, sa lineup na to, Coach Ronnie, a lot of veterans, uh, 80 troopers. Rosses is blocked. Rosses off the hand of the goes Gutierrez. outside. Eleven, Talk about veteran. At so Rosses, yung siyang pinaka-veterano dito sa roster. Ang Perla Spikers. Two Rosses. Seven. Alam ko, naglalaro pa si Charo Soriano. Nag-coach si Charo noon. Si Suroses pa ang naging uh, guest player the year. Ang champion na si Charo bilang head coach. You get up Charo, she's right there. Right, of course. Alina Bitar serving for the Lady Troopers. Two point barrier stands in the way of the Perla Spikers as the lead has uh, been up once again to three. Piston play for Hervasha. That will backfire. Eight swings to four on that offensive block. By Jing Balse, well read. Ganda na nung misdirection. Ah, si Juavilin Gonzaga yung nagsara. Bilis, tumaas na yung ano niya eh, no? Yung vertical. Vertical, that's right. Too close to the net that time. Right, 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 right. That's gonna be four touches. That's a rare miss you coming from Balang. 
Ikara attacking Balang. Balang giving up that uh, miss reception. Lead up to five. Para dito sa green shirts. 16-11. Alamangan ng Lady Troopers kontra sa Perla Spikers. After losing the third set, and they have a chance to finish it now. Alina Bigar getting ready to serve. And si Bigar, uh, she's been doing a great job as the backup setter ni Coach Kung Fureyes. Iba na rin talaga rin yung buho yung mga kumpiyansa ng coach sa'yo at uh, alam mo yun. So it adds more confidence on your part. No one there. Knowing the that uh, he has your back. Uh -oh. Pacific Town Say, Denise, Army. Look at the way she uh, strides or gallops to the service line. Six point lead. Kanina, dalawa yung barrier. Ngayon, umakit na sa lima. Off speed. Oh, good play. Para kay Gonzaga. Oh, ball si Pabayo. Well, the Pabayo. vertical might not be there anymore and even the quickness. But one thing that does not deflate through all the years is your smartness. Meeting the best middle blocker of the previous conference. Jake Basa delivers and builds a seven-point lead for her team at 18-11. Normal, bagong pasok. There is a net violation, it seems, in the tawag. Contra kay Pabayo. Pati si Roma, laki ng pinayat, ano? Oo. Parang ang tumangkad. Because of how lean she's become. Pierre Basho, serving for the Perla Spikers. Icar. Great decoy play doon para kay Gutierrez. Block is out. Point and serve for Pacific Town. 7.8, point number 19. Coach Kung Fu and the rest of his troops. Who sets the one lead looking for their first win sa kanilang debut match. For the Spikers looking for their first winning streak and uh, a tie with the full smashers for a share of the lead. Tubino, sabi niya, hindi daw tumama sa kanya yung bola pero it did seem like nag-bounce off her arm bago tumama sa antenna. That's why Bob Malenap gave the point to the Perla Spikers. Take another look here. Parang tumalpong sa Braxton in Tubino. The rest day. Si Kailin pumasok for Jem Ferrer. It seems she has an injured finger. Kaya pinaltan muna siya. Right now though, Service. May konting run dito ang uh, Perlas Spikers. Ailing. And Chemzon. That's a check ball. Chemzon gets a ball touch. From the Lady Four point game. Perlas Spikers just will not wave the white flag. Against two of the tallest net defenders. Chemzon once again will score. Pero, well, sumala yung service si Duromal. Ito yung sinasabi natin, mas kinagahabol ka pag ang laki nung gusto mong kayo rin, ang hirap makabalik. 20 points. Lady Troopers, 15 for the Perla Spikers. And especially at this point, Coach Johnny, medyo pagod na parehong kopunan. We're in the fourth set already. Uh, maliit ang uh, five points yung tutusin. Pero, I mean, at, again, at this point, when you're tired, Chamzon cuts it down to four. The leading scorer of the Perla Spikers, the leading local scorer, rather. Tama, siya pala yung leading scorer. Ilang local. Hindi among reinforcements na dinala nila noong nakaraan. Icar sets it up to Manaluan. A good save by the floor defense. Tubino. And another save by Roses. Kabila naman, Chamzon with a block on Gonzaga. Gonzaga goes down. Chamzon, Papalo, blocked again by Malaluan. Back row attack. Barely crosses the net para kay Hervasio. Both teams are very tired already. And Tubino finally gets the advantage. In the third set, lahat itong ganong klaseng palitan. Pabor para sa Banco Perlas. Pero rejuvenated, re-energized. Tubino once again rises to the occasion. Five-point lead. 
Even against the two-man block. Perlas. Looking to close the door on the hard-fighting Perlas Spikers. Ang Air Force versus Mako Perla Spikers. Na baba ang uh, alabangan ng Lady Troopers. Hanggang apat lang yung na pinakamalapit na pagdikit nitong Mako Perla's Coach Ronnie here in this fourth set. Sumampas sa walo kasi Rick. Eh. Gonzaga. Ganun din ang storya dun sa third set. Para naman sa Mako Perla. Oo. Oh. Ahabol na tahabol naman eh. Magraran. Ooh. Net touch. Vino. 17. Ay binito against the Lady Troopers. As a free point. Makukuha ng Perla Spikers. Serving for Baco. Team captain. Nicole Chamzon. Tubino against two blockers. She will score. Mas malakas na kasulit yung paali ni Tubino here in set number four after getting a long rest in the third set. Look at the quick swing coming from Tubino. 16 out. 12. Perez. Naka mas accurate na ngayon. Yung mga patama niya talaga sa gilid ng blockers. Kasi mas mataas na yung elevation niya. Where's Tubino? Nung bandang third set, nasa ilalim na siya nung ball. Ayan, no? Good serve. Carvacho down the middle. And Dido tumawid ng bola. That's going to be uh, four, touches. four touches contra sa Perla Spikers. And now, nakaposisyon na ang Lady Troopers to get uh, this match. Pero may timeout pa si uh, Coach Kong Sawat. Pakinggan natin. Obe, mag-enly seat po na. Ito, final timeout of uh, Coach Apichat Kong Sawat. Uh, his team down by six and only two points away ang uh, Lady Troopers from their first win of the uh, Open Conference. Service, Tubino. Oops. Ooh. Nasa ilalim ng bola si Tubino. Uh, pero, no reaction from Coach Kung Furez. Malaki yung kalamangan niya. He's still up by five. Mas madaling maging pasen. Pero <laughs> pag lamang ka. Jem Ferrer, serving for Baco. Gutierrez. Herbacio against two blockers. Nangat ni Gutierrez, maluluan on a one-two play. Ferrer, oh. too close to the net that time. Tinawid na lang ni Herbacio. Oh. Wow! Alina Bicar takes matters into her own hands. Another one to play again, and that's two straight points given up by the Lady Troopers. Uh, she took the risk. Bicar to Malalua. She finds the opening, and that's going to be match point for the Lady Troopers. That's redemption coming from Bicar. Jem Gutierrez, time and again, attack. Ang mga nagsaserve pa nandito sa Perla Spikers, but malaluan. Really very strong showing dito sa unang laban para sa Pacific Town. Ang Bicar serving for match point. Oh, wrong server. Yun yung sinisigaw kanina ni, ano, ni Alina Bicar. She was calling loot malaluan. Sabi niya, loot, pero... Para hindi siya nagkaintindihan, so she continued to serve. That resulted in the error. At dahil doon, asok mo na si Jing Bals eh. At napaupo si Coach Gopo Reyes. But still, four match points para sa Lady Troopers. Jing Bals eh rato. Hindi pwede eh, makakabalik eh. Oo. And that's what Coach Gopo wants to avoid. Siyempre, going to a five-setter. 
Uh, to mga mas batang Lady Troopers, or sorry, um, and the Spikers obviously will be a little more, a little bit fresher compared to his players. But Jem Gutierrez, Coach Tony, with a good finish. That has been the lethal combination para dito sa team ni Coach Kung Foreyes. You have Royce Tobino, Jem Gutierrez in double figures, beating the dreaded combo on the flip side ni Sir Basho and Nicole Champson and derailing. An attempted uh, first winning streak para sa Perla Spikers dating back to the previous conference ng ating PVL. And what a uh, recovery para sa Lady Troopers after a uh, terrible third set. Eh, na ibaliktad nila at uh, they came back to form in the fourth set. Kanon ka halaga yung uh, nakabalik sila ng bahagya dun sa third set, Eric. Eh, dahil kung tuloy-tuloy na natambakan ka, mahirap din na makalaro ng maayos dun sa parating na fourth set but eventually even if they lost the third set they were able to uh, start out well in the fourth set and right now they'll be rewarded with their first win of the competition and our best player is Royce Tubino who uh, saw fewer minutes in the third set nagpahinga siya but she came alive in the fourth set and naging malaking factor in this uh, win of the Lady Troopers uh, 9.7 points per game in the previous conference nearly 20 points today Workhorse, two-way player. Uh, a large reason why they are will come out as winners. Nito against a very tough opponent, the Banco Perla Spike. Tignan natin yung ating schedule of coming up uh, this Saturday. Uh, mula dito sa Phil Oil Flying V Center. It's uh, Chef's Classics seeing action for the first time in the Open Conference against Moto Light. Na nakatikim ng talo kanina contra sa Cream Line. Antala, our second game on Saturday. Ang Banco Perla Spikers susubukan bumawe after this loss as they take on the Air Force. Third straight, third straight play date para sa Banco Perla Spikers. Right, it's going to be a good one. So abangan po niya. That's going to be live on SNA and dito rin sa Philoil Flying V Center. So the Lady Troopers, they get their first win of the season as they give the Perla Spikers their first loss of the Open Conference. For Janine Choi, my partner coach Ronnie Magsano, I'm Eric Kipan. Thanks to our director Al Neri. Uh, abangan po ninyo ulit. Sa Saturday, magkita kita tayo for more action in the Open Conference of the PBL at sa atin ang ABS-CBN Sports.